Hey, welkom back op de cursus Ripley Mello. Uh, last episode we left off at the table of regret. By coming here. So. Uh, yes. I don't want to go there. Hello? So I can either go downstairs. Oh, there's the other door. Hmm. Oh, oh. Hmm. I, I don't like the sounds. Stay close to please. Okay. Nice. I don't like it. I can take that. Are there some piggies in there? Oh, okay. I knew it. Closets, they are not trust. Ah, oh, fuck. Like, fuck you. What are you? It's dead. Probably it will be come to life. Oh, this one is locked off. Don't cry little baby, it's fine. Wait. Fuck it's just <laughs> being kept awake at night by what sounds like a machinery grinding. Mm. Well, I can't hide. I can't. Please shut up. Stay dead. Good. Let's go here. 
wait. I haven't found my lantern yet. Uh, did I miss something again? Shit. Martin. To daddy or to me. Tiny bells. Can you please not? I know this. <coughs> Can you not? Diary of Thomas Baxter, May 2nd, 1901. Whilst renovations were taking place in the wine cellar, one of our workers accidentally knocked through a wall he shouldn't have. However, what we found behind left us all speechless. We discovered a vast storage area full of boxes, wine racks, and all manner of early 19th century items. For whatever reason, this area must have been spared when the old castle was demolished, presumably due to its structural integrity. Hmm. Upon looking through all the fascinating items, I came across a box labelled Edwin Stanley. I gingerly opened the box, but I was shocked by what was inside. I found a mysterious spherical shaped artifact. Its texture was unlike anything I had touched before, and I swear I could feel a small vibration radiating from within. I have hidden the object for now. I will have a proper look at it when the workers have gone. He's talking about the orb. I'm right here! No, I don't want to follow him. Oh my heart. Uh. I got him on the land. He was bad. Did he jump through this? This is the artifact I... T 
cheated out of the closet and was like this it's a small space and I can grab it through to it so this is the key for it uh, I'm so stupid so I presume that be careful need to be careful. I don't like chase spots. Just don't. I... Oh. Can he come here? Oh, I'm so dead if he can come here. Scared of my foot. I don't see anything. Oh, he is there. If you guys can see anything, uh, maybe if I turn on the brightness a little bit higher. Oh, I saw him running this way. I 
Dus dit is niet goed, thanks. Can I pull this up? Is it here? No. Okay, it's all fine. <sighs> now I have to pass two locked doors. So. There are guns everywhere, why don't I pick one up and shoot? I'm not alone, definitely not. The swan, yeah, I needed it for the east wing, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But now I need you. My son appears to be haunted. <coughs> Haunt me every at every turn. Is what I'm seeing even real? Or has something really terrible happened? I don't know. I don't know. What can I? Somehow I feel a little bit more safe in this space. It would be awful if it, there would be a monster here. The ground for you. String. But at first, let's go to the dining hall. See if I didn't crash the game. Okay. Crash the game, yeah. I hope not. Or if I open the closet and I picked the thing up and had to trigger something. Then I failed. So, key. Oh. This thing. Thank you. Having a little ball on your chamber here on the desk that every time, every now and then change color without any ele electricity or technology in it. Okay, let's open the not the other lab that was located here. So. Somewhere in the east wing. <laughs> but for now, Ooh. yes, the east wing. Let's take it in the box and. Sit here in the corner. And I will end this episode here. And I see you in the next one. Bye!